We are a democratic country. People have a right under the Constitution to express themselves freely under freedom of speech. They have also a right to peacefully protest. Yes, it is obvious that Nigerians will not wake up from their slumber. Why do I say so? Because we are expecting the politicians, people like Atiku, Peter Obi, Kwang Paso and the rest, maybe Erufai recently, to lead a protest in order for the change that we anticipate to happen. It will never happen. Those people are not going to lead the protest. Look at what is going on in Kenya. That was the same thing that happened in Nigeria in 2020. And we saw that after that protest, we saw the obedient movement in 2023. But what happened? It was, uh, you know, rigged out in the 2023 general election. Let's listen to Peter Obi talking about the protests that is inevitable in Nigeria and why the youths should hit the streets if they believe that the government is not doing what they ought to do properly, they should go on a peaceful protest. The destruction of government assets. I'm not against peaceful protest. But it must be for reasons, not for interest. Often a time here you see protests being to satisfy a particular interest. It must be properly articulated. There's things that is happening that is against and properly directed. Properly articulated and properly directed. So you don't go, I recall when people were saying they're protesting against police or any other organization of government. And I said to them, no, let's deal with the leadership. If we have good leadership, their agents can be bad. But what happens here is that Nigerians say, oh, our problem is police, our problem is EFCC, our problem is ICPC, our problem is army. Problem. No, the problem is the leadership. If the leadership is, if the leaders are competent, have the capacity, doing the right thing, they are agents towing the line. And that is what I want. I want to see these things that are properly organized. I want to see people listening, and I'm using the same opportunity to say, all those who are being held because of, say, NSAS protests and everything, or because of freedom of speech or journalists, should please be released immediately. We're a democratic country. People have a right under the Constitution to express themselves freely under freedom of speech. They have also a right to peacefully protest. So it is a known fact that these people, when Obi even said after the election that we should stay calm, nobody should hit the street, we should know, I mean, no violence and all of that. Yes, he said no violence. We will take it lawfully and all of that. You can as well go on a lawful protest, do you get? So this is not to call for a protest anyway, but because of actually the nature of our, our of our state, Nigeria, because when you talk about protest, it looks like you don't like the government, you think, but protest is part of democracy. And those in power right now, Bola Tinebu, is the chief custodian of protest. I talked about this in one of our last video during the Democracy Day celebration where she was signing a senator representing Cardinal Central in the from 2015-2019 who said that he funded he sponsored the protest that time but now you are not even allowed to even mention pro before you say test you are in police custody and that is the reason why i'm saying this is not to call for pro uh, protest personally what is going on in nigeria is what protesting but you know that um in nigeria we don't want to even uh, make some sacrifice if at all we want progress and the truth of the matter still remains that those in power actually know that the people are angry the people are not happy but they will not do anything about it they understand the fact that 
at the end of the day, just give them some little tip and sign. That's the end of it. Do what Peter Obi say actually make any sense in regards to what is happening in Nigeria of today, where a bag of uh, uh, a basket of tomato is just like buying buying a basket of tomato is just like buying a cow for any festival. I mean, any any event that you want to uh, hold in this particular period right now. What do you make of this? Let me have you take a comment section. Thank you for watching.